Hello there, this is Laura Villafranca from Cisco Security Tag Team. Today, I want to show you how to configure an external authentication method using ICE radius for management access to the FMC and FTD devices. This is the second part of two videos, and here I will show you how to add your policy set and rules in ICE, and then how to complete this setup by adding the radio server to your FMC and FTD devices. In your ICE server, go to Policy, Policy Sets, and add a new one. Insert the name and a description to your policy. Add a condition with the attribute radius, NAS IP address, and the IP address of the FMC as the attribute value. Add a second condition using the OR conjunction to include the IP address of the FTD2. Select an allowed protocols list and save. Our next step is to add the authorization policy rules to grant access to the devices. First, I'm adding a rule for the FMC and FTD admin users. This must match with the condition of my Firepower Admins group as the identity group name. This will have the profile FMC admins and FTD CLI admins. Create another one for the Firepower Read Only Users group. This must match with the condition of my Firepower Read Only group as the identity group name. and they will have the profiles FMC read users or FTD CLI read users. We have now completed the configuration on the ICE side. Let's go ahead and configure the FMC. Log into the FMC GUI and add the external authentication object. Select Radius as the authentication method and insert your ICE server details using the same shared secret you used on ICE to add the FMC and FTD. Insert the Radius attribute values that were configured before in ICE. Class Administrator for the Administrator role and the Class Read Only for the Security Analyst Read Only role. Add your FMC admin user in the CLI access filter. Note that we have already set our FTD CLI user's access with the radius attribute details, but for FMC and older FTD versions, we must add it in this field. Use the test tool to validate the integration works properly. Insert the details of one of your ICE users and click Test. Save your settings. Now enable the external authentication object you just created. Select this object as your shell authentication method and click Save and Apply. Now you can proceed to configure the FTD under Platform Settings. Edit your current policy or create a new one if needed. Enable the radio server under external authentication and click Save. These changes will take immediate effect for your FMC. For the FTD, you will have to deploy 
in order to push the configuration to it, And now, your configuration is completed. Thanks for watching.